that love could remember no wrongs we have done. Omniscient, all-knowing, he counts not their sum. No need to a sea without bottom or shore. Our sins, they are many. sins they are many his mercy is more what patience will May the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts be pleasing in your sight, O Lord, our rock and our redeemer. Amen. Well, here we are at the end. It seems like the year has just flown by, hasn't it? It feels like just yesterday that Principal Lyre was giving the first chapel of the year, and then I gave the second chapel of the year, and now this is the second to last chapel of the year, and tomorrow he gives the very last chapel of the year. Oh, how things have flown by. And as we stand at these kinds of moments where big changes are coming, going into a summer break, graduation, sometimes it's, it's good to just take a break and to think and, and to reflect a little bit on all the changes. As we think about changes moving forward, it's also sometimes good to look backwards and think about all the changes that have happened so far. And so to, to help us reflect a little bit on the changes we've experienced, I, I thought I'd do a little homework here, and I had a couple sources help me a little bit. And so we have some throwback picks for us to reflect on, to just think about changes that have happened. So here's an oldie but a goodie. Are you ready for this one? 
Now, you might say, oh, there's a couple of faces I think I recognize. Let me zoom in for you here. Let me zoom in. How, how can you miss Emma Camels over on the right over there? And I'm sure you can make out Madison Sipe. Her face is like exactly the same all these years later. Uh, in the middle, middle, that's Nora, Nora Krug in there. And uh, behind with the hat, that's Reagan Goddiger. And who's the boy getting close to the girl in the front row? That's Alex, Alex Hernandez. And who can miss the chubby little cheeks of Dr. Love himself, Tony Jones? Yes, that's great. Uh, who would have thought, right, all these years later, the St. John's crew now on the verge of graduation, who, who would have thought how God would guide the journey through various sports like football and basketball and cheerleading and fine arts and develop these people into Christian leaders and the servants that they have been over the years here at Wisco. I'm sorry, I miss Lindsay too. So Lindsay, I don't want to miss you in the back right corner either. Uh, amazing how God has guided the journey. Here's another one. I like this next picture because it's both the old and the new in one. The St. Marcus basketball boys. And you think back at those pictures from way back in the day when they were playing grade school basketball and tearing up the courts. Who would have thought the journeys that God would guide them on? Even entering Wisco as freshmen, aspiring with all kinds of hopes and dreams and, and thinking about sports and so much more. Uh, B and Jordan, London. Would they ever have known what God had in store with the bumps and the bruises, the surgeries, the medical procedures, just to make it to being on the court together as seniors? Who would have known except the Lord himself? Well, I have one more, and this one I had to do just a little bit more digging for. And I like this one because it's not just seniors, but there's also some juniors here in this picture. So let's go back to this throwback picture right here. Now, here's a crew of some junior Vikings ladies, and you might say, oh, there's some faces I recognize. Oh, yeah, there are. Let's zoom in. Who can miss Hopper on the left over here? And uh, in case you're missing in the wonderful pink socks, that's Grace Schneider right next to her. And we got Allie Reiner, Riley Zeller. I think that's Grace Becker in the middle. We got Tab, Lydia Sweezy, Katie Meyer. How can you mistake Jaya with the hair and the headband, right? And you got Izzy Vinny over there. I think they have known back when they were standing here taking a picture for grade school basketball, all the things they would experience, all the places God would guide them in the next four or five or six years after that picture, the accomplishments in track or volleyball or basketball, again, fine arts, music, softball, all kinds of things, the leadership they would have in our school, the, the laughs, the tears. Oh, how God guides our journeys. And so here we are reflecting on the past and, again, looking forward to the future. And change is coming. And so you wonder, now where are we going to go? And some of you may know, here's my path. I'm going to get this job this summer. I'm going to train for sports this summer. I'm entering the military right away. I'm going to this college. Yeah, but others might not know so much which way the path is going to go. And I hope that you students, especially you seniors, have figured out by now, you might think, here's my path. But hopefully you figured out how many twists and turns and U-turns and forks in the road there often can be in life. And so for all of us in the room as we're approaching the last two days that we're together as a family and we move forward into the future, what are we going to do? And especially you seniors, what... What are you going to do when all of a sudden there's a fork in the road, when there's a huge U-turn or a big detour? What are you going to do as you go on in life and all of a sudden you find yourself just totally buried in sin? I mean, covered in guilt and feeling awful and deep down gnawing at your conscience is that thought of, how could I have come to this path? How could I have taken so big a detour? How could I have gone so far astray? And you wonder, am I even on the path anymore? Am I on the wrong path, going in the wrong direction? Does God even love me anymore? What are you going to do, and especially seniors, what are you going to do when there's so many changes because of our own sin Well, our prayer for you all, and especially for you seniors, is that you remember what does not change. Christ has come. 
Christ has died, and Christ has risen. No matter what changes come in life, no matter how much you change, those facts for you do not. And as we go our many paths and our journeys take us all over, what happens when there is a huge bump in the road? I'm not talking a little West Dallas kind of pothole here. I'm thinking a huge ditch, an insurmountable kind of a obstacle. What is going to happen when tragedy strikes in your life, too close to home, too close to the heart? What happens when you are just driven to your knees? I'm not talking life throw you a curveball. I'm talking, I'm talking throwing you flat on the face. What are you going to do when that kind of change comes in your life? A prayer for you all and a prayer for especially you seniors. That you go back to what does not change. Jesus has still come for you. Jesus has still died for you and it is still finished. And Jesus has still risen for you. It's hard at these times of years to reflect for those of us who are older. I know there are many much older than I in the room, but, you know, you kind of get to feel your age after a while. And with graduation coming up here in 2022, it's hard for my wife and I and Mr. McKittrin and Mr. Nelson to admit 23 years ago was when we walked across the stage at WLC. And, man, our class, nearly 300, one of the biggest ever here at Wisco, we have gone to all corners of the earth. Lots have made wonderful choices and found lots of success. Some have made not so great choices and gone down the wrong path. Sadly, if I have the number right, three of our classmates are already in heaven waiting for us. They've traveled all over the globe, gone all kinds of different paths, and the same is going to be true for everyone in this room, some of us sooner rather than others. And so as we go all over the globe on our separate paths, what are you going to do when there's so much change? What are you going to do when the world changes around you? We go back to what does not change. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. And he was still born for you. And he still died for you. And he still rose for you. And so my encouragement as we march into summer and into graduation and beyond, my encouragement is for you to go back to the wonderful words of our theme verses for this school year. I use them on that second day of school and that second chapel, and I'll use them again today on the second to last. The beautiful words of Romans chapter 8. No, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future nor any powers, neither height nor depth nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Wisco family, there are so many changes coming, but one thing does not. The love of God in Christ Jesus. And so as we reflect on the past and think about changes coming in the future, our prayer is that you remember the Savior who does not change and that nothing you experience in life will ever separate you from that love. May God keep that close to your heart and mind today and always. Amen. With such a message so great of our God's love, what else can we do but sing? And so let's join to sing one more time. Praise to the Lord. Again, note the instructions on the screen.
Let's join our hearts in prayer. Lord Jesus, we pray that in your bountiful love and mercy, which is new every morning, you keep us steadfast in your way. You tell us that you are the way and the truth and the life. And as we walk forward on our journeys with so many changes before us, we pray that you keep us in your ways and hold us in your loving care until you reunite us one last time for all eternity in your glory in heaven. We pray this in your name. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look on you with favor and give you peace. Amen.